Welcome to the Retrobyte. I am doing something very special today and I am very excited to be doing it. This is the Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes. That's right, a 3DS game in HD. This is thanks to the wonderful Citra Bleeding Edge version of their emulator. Bleeding Edge means their like latest copy which isn't quite fully and ready but it's where all the new features and new exciting things are on the emulator. This isn't something that you can do really if you don't already have a 3DS and the games. It's a lot of uh, setting up and a lot of things you need to do with a physical 3DS in the copy of the games. However, if you do have that but you want to experience those games really how they should be played, then this is what you need. What's even more exciting above all of this, this is my actual save file for my 3DS. I just think this is absolutely fantastic. This is some of the most fun I've ever had with the emulator. The fact that it can actually use your save files as well is is, is brilliant. Uh, th that is just make, makes it so much worth playing because obviously I've started this game uh, on my 3DS, but playing it on my PC in HD is just fantastic. So the little, let's just show you the setup. I've got the big screen mode on here. So obviously the main screen is the main part of what you can see. Bottom right is what would the second screen be. Um, you have to use your mouse to click, obviously. There's no way you can really get round having a quick fix around that one. Uh, but for most games on 3DS, you don't need to constantly be hammering the uh, touchscreen anyway. Uh, this game, you do need it for switching between the guys, but that's not much of a convenience and something I'm, a price I'm very much willing to play to play this game in HD. So let's go into one of the levels and see how it performs there. As you can see in the bottom right, you can get speed and FPS. All that detail is there if you're interested, but you don't need it. You can see how absolutely gorgeous this game is running on this emulator. I won't be posting details on how to do this. There's plenty of them uh, on YouTube, and there's a lot of legalities around it as well. So I don't want to get involved in any of that. I just want to show you what this can look like in HD. So yeah, my actual save file, I, I've only, I've done too, f I've got too far in this as you can see, but let's, uh, let's keep cracking with this one. Probably should change into my boomerang outfit really, but, ah, oh well. So I mean, there is a very 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 tiny amount of stutter every now and then but I, I don't think that really counts as being a problem I mean using your mouse to click on the uh, touchscreen to to change characters is a little annoying but obviously they didn't design this for, it, for an emulator they designed this for to be actually on the 3DS itself so it's a minor inconvenience, but again, I'm quite willing to pay that, considering how just amazing this game now looks. I think the problem with the 3DS has always been the, the very, very poor quality screen that they put on it. I know the game's run at a low resolution anyway, but the screen did not help. It looked absolutely terrible, I think. And despite that, I did love, and I do love the 3DS. I think it's an absolutely great console. There are a whole bunch of games on there that are really good fun. Um, and it's just been, once again, the, you know, it's a shame that the hardware has to come into play when it comes to dealing with uh, Nintendo games. But they're with, you know, people like Citra and Dolphin, people who kind of really show you what, oops, <laughs> show you what Nintendo games are supposed to look like. It just adds another whole, whole another level to these games. Oops. <laughs> I was not paying attention there, clearly. Oh, right on the edge of that So if you haven't played this game before, it's obviously something you're supposed to play with two friends, which is a very strange amount of people to find. Normally, the Golden Wolf Gaming is obviously four. But three is what they've decided to go through here. You can go online, obviously not via the emulator. That'd be just that'd just be too good. But you can go online and find two random people. But I 
because you have to be so reliant on the other two players, I really don't fancy that because you know you're going to be playing with a bunch of idiots who uh, really don't want to help you and they just want to spend you know, time wasting and throwing you off the edges and all that sort of stuff. So I've just been playing this game uh, on my own and it's it's perfectly adequate. I mean, it's not quite a proper Zelda title, purists will probably tell you. Uh, but for a spin-off, something in the vein of Four Swords Adventure, it's perfectly adequate, especially um, on the go. You can pick it up, play a level or two, and, and you're done, really. It doesn't require too much kind of thought or getting into, like, you know, a proper Zelda game, as at the moment, I'm, like everyone else, can't really balls deep in uh, Breath of the Wild, and it did take me a little while to get around to doing this video, because, well, let's be honest, Breath of the Wild is, is something else, and, but I just thought I needed to do this, especially with, you know, Zelda being so hyped up at the moment. It'd be good to see something like this running on the emulator. Okay. Oh, he's higher than I expected. So obviously the thing you, you will lose from being emulated is the 3D-ness of it all. But, to be honest, I spent the vast majority of my time on the console playing in 2D anyway, so that didn't really bother me. He's three up, isn't he? Yep. Also, one thing to mention is this uh, emulator, for some reason, doesn't actually have um, controller support, which is a very weird thing. However, uh, I'm using Pinnacle Game Profiler, which is like five pounds, five dollars, whatever, and you can simulate your keyboard and mouse um, with a contro any controller, really, and it's, as you can see, it works perfectly. Using the Xbox 360 controller, not really having any problems. Other than using the touch screen, but again, that's just something you, you just have to get used to. But you're losing one heart. That's not too bad. So the whole, all the levels are always um, chopped up into different little bits. Oh, I am using my boom boomerang costume, I didn't even realise. So it's only basic uh, colour-based puzzles normally in this game, I'm trying to get you to obviously play play nice and play with each other but because you share the hearts when you're online as well this is where I can see it just becoming a problem people just you know, piss about and not really play the game play I'm not really up for that sound emulation is spot on as well um, not not notice any problems with this at all yeah I'm cheating a little bit but it works Oh, see, that's that's what I can expect the game to be like online, just getting chucked off the edge all the time. Oh, wasn't paying attention. Oops. Okay, let's uh, try that again. I'm a bit rusty, I haven't played this in a little while. The only thing I have found on this game is getting diagonals is actually quite tricky. Like, trying to face... Oh, damn it. <laughs> trying to face him. It only like, seems to move in, you know, eight-directional D-pad style, which is a bit odd. Oh, 
Oh, crap, it's one of those things. Oh, man, I'm getting lost here. Bomb for this. Oh, I've thrown a bomb. Dude up, haven't I? I need green, I need green and blue, typical. Alright. Sorry, Red, you're gonna be left behind. Oh. Perfect. Oh, I need red as well. Okay. I don't know. Uh, actually, I'd, I'll, I know what I've done. I know what I've done. Oh, I might have missed this one up, though. Hmm. Let's find out. Yeah, I have. <laughs> I've messed this one up totally, haven't I? Booger. Oh, I really have. Nuts. <laughs> I can't complete the level. I'll have to start again. Right, well, I'll leave that one there. Uh, my embarrassment has gone on too, too long now. So, I hope you have enjoyed it. I will be doing a lot more videos on the Citra emulator. I've got a lot more games that I want to try out of a long list. As I said, there's a lot of games on the 3DS that I really, really like. So, as long with the Dolphin emulator, I'll be doing more with Citra. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon on the Retrobyte.